The suspended roller coaster was a magnificent invention that took a few tries to get right. And now today, we have eight reliable suspended coasters that have thrilled entire families for decades. Now is the perfect time to realize the model's full potential. Amusement parks these days are extremely hesitant to move forward with an unproven prototype, no matter how cool it may be. And for good reason. These coasters will have maintenance problems. They will break down and anger guests. However, suspended coasters are no longer that kind of model. Their braking issues were resolved with lessons from the bat. The Big Bad Wolf modifications showed how to resolve issues with track strength and having wheel assemblies above the riders. And advancements in computer-aided design can mitigate the excess speed issues which jeopardized the earlier models. The two companies that built full-size suspended coasters, Aero and Vacoma, are now part of the same parent company. Parts are still being made, the designs still exist, and the extensive background knowledge is all there, just waiting to be elevated to the next level. A full-sized suspended roller coaster would not be a cheap investment, but it would be a worthwhile investment for one major reason. It is the perfect coaster for the whole family. And, as amusement industry professionals know, more families leads to more in-park spending. Vacoma models have a 110 centimeter or 43 inch height requirement. Ninja has a height requirement of 42 inches. According to CDC growth charts, this means that the average five-year-old is tall enough to ride these rides. And this five-year-old is likely to enjoy the ride as well. Most suspended coasters are around the same thrill level as classic mine train coasters, only with much smoother motions that avoid those jerky transitions. This is exactly the kind of coaster grandparents can ride with their grandchildren. Usually, when parks make rides for families, they lose the interest of the thrill-seeking crowd. They lose the marketing potential of a terrifying thrill ride going viral online. But suspended coasters have the ability to buck this trend. Though the actual ride experience can remain family friendly, the look of the long trains swinging along the track is eye-catching and unique. Couple that with trees or theming, and suspended coasters make for some of the most iconic rides at their parks, despite not being record breakers. However, if parks do want to advertise a record breaking roller coaster, it would not take much more investment to build the tallest, longest, or fastest suspended roller coaster in the world while still appealing to families. Imagine a butterfly-themed suspended coaster swooping down the Smoky Mountains of Dollywood, or a king snake themed roller coaster slithering through the Pine Barrens and over the water at Six Flags Great Adventure. Codaland could even build a throwback to Accelerate, and with today's technology, maybe even add a corkscrew to the layout. In today's world, Suspended coasters are the perfect attractions for parks looking to appeal to multiple demographics. The rides look stunning swinging over the midway and over bodies of water. They manage to remain smooth despite their age, and they can have swooping curves and drops that are exciting, but not too scary. A genius design that can answer many park needs all at once. <laughs>